Hey guys, welcome back to Techshon.com. Today we're gonna have a look at a smartphone that has all the features one would expect from a high-end phone, but guess what? At a jaw-dropping price. Yes, it's really a jaw-dropping price. You heard me right. I have with me the Coolpad Note 3. This is the black variant. It also comes in white. Recently in India, you can see a wave of Chinese companies, you know, trying to launch a lot of smartphones because India is really growing fast in terms of mobile usage and uh, everyone wants to be in it. Among the many, I should say, Coolpad Note 3 and its recently launched younger brother, the Coolpad Note 3 Lite, definitely stands out because of its high-end specs and yet competitive pricing. Let's go in and quickly unbox this and I'll give you some pros and cons about this phone and why you should choose Coolpad Note 3. There you go. We have the phone itself. Let's keep that aside and check the contents of the box and we'll get back to this. Good, we have a screen guard here. Of manuals and stuff. Nice pair of earplugs. The charger adapter. We have the micro USB cable. So pretty much that's about the contents of the box. So let's keep those aside and uh, let's get straight to the phone. So here's the phone. It's pretty neat and has a nice, uh, you know, uh, uh, textured back. It's kind of, uh, it feels rubbery, but uh, you know, it's, it's, it's good to hold the hands. It's grippy. So let's go ahead and power this up and I'll give you some positives and negatives. Now coming to the positives. First thing I, I look at is the design. It's very sleek and it's pretty familiar design but at the same time it, it, uh, the black one feels more premium than the white one. So I would suggest everyone to pick up the black variant and you won't be disappointed. It has a nice uh, uh, rim around the phone, which is, uh, uh, it's kind of uh, chrome finish, it, it adds a premium look to the phone. Now uh, it has a nice crisp 5.5 inch uh, HD display with a resolution of 1280 to 720 and the pixel density is 267 ppi so that's pretty much uh, impressive. And uh, coming to the camera, the camera is a 13 megapixel uh, at the back. And on the front, it's 5 megapixel. It comes with flash in the back. So here are some decent shots that I uh, have taken using this camera. The, these are raw and edited. Now, coming back to the processor. It is a 1.3 GHz Octa-Core MediaTek processor which is pretty good and it comes with 16 GB on board and it's expanded up to 64 via micro SD card so that's pretty nice it has dual sim support and both sim support 4G the best part is it has OTG support so you can use an OTG cable and connect your pen drive now of all the positives at this price point the best is the fingerprint scanner which is at the back it's pretty amazing I tried it out and it unlocks the device so fast that it you can see it here. Let me show it. Now I've locked the phone. I'm going to unlock it using the finger. As you can see, it, it just takes, you know, less than a second to unlock the phone. Let me do that again for you. There you go. It's, it's really fast. Now, it has LED notification. That's one another positive. And the final one would be it comes with 3 GB of RAM. And at this price point, I should say it's really impressive because, you know, you need more RAM for faster uh, application uh, usage as well as for the Android operating system so you won't face any lags you know uh, when you're using multiple applications the touch responsive is also really really smooth that's one uh, uh, positive you know on many of the low-end uh, smartphones the touch responsiveness uh, goes really bad but here on the Coolpad Note 3 it is amazing now seriously on the negative uh, front I couldn't pick much but anyway, here are a few. First thing is the design. The design might look familiar when you look at uh, other smartphones in the market, but as I said, just check out the black variant. It's really good and it's very grippy in the hands. 
Now the next negative would be it runs on Android uh, 5.1 which is Lollipop. So as you know Lollipop is one of the latest version. Uh, I think there should be an upgrade very soon uh, to Marshmallow. Now the next thing would be like it does not have full HD but again as I said for this price point I would not uh, ask for more and it does not matter much to me. Now on low lighting the front facing camera is kind of a letdown. I hope they sell this smartphone on many other sites because right now it is only uh, launched in India through Amazon. So you know, apart from that, uh, if you ask me, does this phone have any heating issues? Seriously, uh, I didn't face much, but only when I was using, uh, you know, uh, games and stuff, I was having some heating issues. But apart from that, uh, uh, it does not get uh, heated much. But anyway, any phone when you intensely use it uh, for gaming, you know, high-end uh, graphic gaming, it does get heated a little bit. So, if you are on a hunt for a good smartphone on a decent budget, you can definitely consider the CoolPad Note 3 or even the short variant, the CoolPad Note 3 Lite. You know, if you are a large screen lover, pick the CoolPad Note 3 and if you are a small screen lover, go for the CoolPad Note 3 Lite. Both come with similar specs, uh, only the display size and the processor is, uh, you know, uh, different. But again, uh, the younger one comes with for a price of six thousand nine ninety nine, and the bigger brother is eight thousand nine ninety nine. Both are really good phones, and uh, you know, at this price point, you cannot ask for more. Hope this video was informative to know more about the CoolPad Note three Black variant. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to TechShow.com for more such videos, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.